And lovely, lovely, lovely question. I like all kind of questions where you don't need to know anything beforehand. No prior knowledge required. You do this question, you can give it to a, a an eight year old, nine year old. They can try. It is tougher for them because they are not comfortable. They might not be able to return nine, ninety one, ninety eight, nine one 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 nine one. They might not be able to read and grasp numbers that quickly. But they don't need to understand ratio and fraction and an angle bisector and all of that. They, they just simply observe the pattern, see what is happening, and then you are good. And so there is some pattern observing that you have to observe, and there is some way this is given. It took me a while to even understand what the pattern was. And so very interesting pattern. First one is nine, then nine one one nine, nine one 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 nine one 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 nine. So that's one digit number, two digit numbers, three digit numbers, then four digit numbers, and so on. You know, the listing, all of these numbers have only 9 and 1 in them. Okay? And then in 3 digit numbers, if you notice, it is 911-191-119. It's like that 9 moves from one digit to another quite brilliantly. And so I'm going to write it down slightly differently. I start with 9, my first number, second number 91, third number is 19. And then I have 911-191-119. What happens? I have one digit number, 9, done. Second digit number, I have 9 and 1. I put 9 and 1. I have the 9 in the first digit, it moves to the second digit. Then I put 9, 1, 1. Then starting from the first digit, 9 goes to the second digit, then goes to the third digit. The four digit number, be 9, 1, 1, 1, 1, 9, 1, 1, 1, 1, 9, 1, 1, 1, 1, 9. Now we've got the pattern. Then we'll have five-digit numbers, six-digit numbers, seven-digit numbers, eight-digit numbers, and so on. How many three-digit numbers are there? Three. Why three? Because nine could be in the first portion, second portion, third portion. How many four-digit numbers will be there? Four. First, second, third, fourth. How many 14-digit numbers will be there? 14. Nine will go from first digit all the way till 14th digit. Lovely. Now let's think about this. We want to find the 45th term of this sequence. Brilliant. So and all of these questions, I like counting till the end of each row. So the first row, your one number down. Second row, one plus two, three. How so? One plus two. Third row, one plus two plus three, six. One plus two plus three. So end of the third row, we have accounted for six numbers. This is a sixth number. What is this? this is a tenth number. Why tenth number? This is one plus two plus three plus four. What will be the last number here? That will be 15th number. Why 15th number? 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5. Lovely. Now I am going to jump. I have got the method. So at the end of row 1, I am in the first number. End of row 2, I am at number 3. End of number 3. End of row 3, 6. Row 4, 10. Row 5, 15. End of row 6, 21. End of row 7, 28. What am I doing? This plus 2, plus 3, plus 4, plus 5, plus 6, plus 7. These numbers are called something. 1, 3, 6, 10, 15, 21, 28. They are called something. I wanted to find out what they are called. And so what are they? What are they called? Find out. Find out. Row 8, 36. I keep on doing like this. Somewhere I should be able to get to the 45. End of row 9. 45, uh, lovely, we've got 45 straight away, plus 8, plus 9, or the row, row 9 ends with the 45th number. Okay. Row 9 is all a bunch of 9 digit numbers, all having only 9 ones, only 1 9, several ones, remaining all ones. And what does it start with? It starts with the 9 in the first portion. Then how will row 9 be? It will start with 9, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. Then we'll have 1, 9, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. The 9 keeps on moving. We're talking about the last number in the 9th row. Where will it be? Quite easy. 9, 1, sorry, 8, 1s and then ending with a 9. It's a 9 digit number. And the 9 has gone all the way from the first portion to the last portion. We're worried about the 45th digit. 
which will happen to be the 45th number which will happen to be the last number in the ninth row or the last number in the ninth row which has only one nine and eight ones so the nine has to be in the last place units place so this eight ones ending with a nine beautiful question you don't need to know any funda they do it methodically these numbers you should be able to pick they're called something i want you to find out what they are called what is the name of numbers like 1 3 6 10 15 21 28 36 45 55 those numbers how do you find them is there a formula to it is there a very interesting way of remembering the formula uh, what what is the, the specific title given to those numbers i want you to find all of that because this number has got to be your friend this set of numbers if you see a 45 you should know it is sum of all numbers from 1 to 9 the more comfortable you get with that simpler exams like this is going to become so you're going to learn funda approaches but you've got to get your mind to become friendly with numbers you should be able to say oh 81 81 is 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 729 i know that 9 cube i know that 343 that is 7 into 7 into 7 1024 that is 2 multiplied with itself 10 times these numbers should hold more significance but you're going to see them more frequently utterly frequently whenever you take exams so keep that in mind. Beautiful question. Eight ones and a nine. That's what it ends with. Hush.